Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my YouTube channel, then welcome. In today's video, I'm gonna be doing something that I haven't done before. I'm gonna be filming this monthly, and I really hope you enjoyed it. So as you can see in the title, these are my September favorites. This isn't just gonna be just about beauty products, it's gonna be also about clothes, music, apps, things like that. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. Before I do so, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment anything that you'd like to see in future videos. And thank you so much for coming back to my channel, and let's get get going. So I'm going to start off today with makeup. So I have a few products this month that have really caught my eye and have really changed the makeup game for me. I'm going to start off with foundation. Um, so I think you already know what's coming right now. My new favorite foundations are the Fenty Beauty foundations. I know these are two different colors and I know that I bought two, but that's just because sometimes I'm more tanned and sometimes I'm not so tanned. What I love about these foundations is that they're full coverage. And I never really thought I'd like a matte foundation, but they're actually amazing for a foundation that is matte. Um, they last all day long. They oxidize, so that's the only thing that I will tell you guys, but it actually says in the bottle that they do, so it's not. it wasn't like a surprise or anything. Um, they last long, they're matte, they're long wear. I don't know, they're just amazing. You should try it yourself. They blend, they're buildable, and I really, really, really love them. So, and they're inexpensive. They're only $42 Canadian, and I think American, they are 38 so yeah, they're not expensive at all, um, and I, I love them. There's nothing that I don't like about these foundations, and the two colors that I have is 270 for when I'm not tanned, and then 310 for when I'm tanned. So those are the two foundations that I really caught my eye this month. The next product that I'm showing you guys today is a contour stick. It is so inexpensive. It's the Wet n Wild Baton de Maquillage Contour Stick. It is cruelty free, it is creamy, and it comes in a easy to apply stick. I got this at Walmart. If you live in Montreal, I got it in the Walmart in Ville Saint Laurent. I know they don't have it in the Walmart in to carry or anything like that, so you can go pick that up at that Walmart. This wasn't expensive either. I don't know exactly how much it was, but I will link it down below so you can go and buy that online or you can go into store and go find it. I believe they had two shades, one that was more warm and one that was more uh, cold, so this is the one that I picked up. This is in the shade Call Me Maple. Um, this is actually better for me than any stick I've ever got for contour. I've used the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour stick and this is the all-time favorite one that I've ever used. Um, I really recommend this for anybody who's looking for an easy to use, inexpensive contour stick. The next beauty product that I am going to show you guys is something that I believe everybody loves and everybody has seen in other videos that I posted. Um, it is the Fenty Beauty um, Fenty Glow Lip Gloss. It, it is called Gloss Bomb. It is amazing. Um, I'm going to put it on right now so I'm going to just show you guys what it looks like so you can see. So it comes with a really easy to use wand. It looks different on everybody. That's why it's called a universal lip gloss. It looks different on everybody, but it looks amazing on everybody. So, um, and it smells amazing, like incredible. The only thing that I will say is that it's extremely sticky, um, but it does last all day. I love it. Favorite lip gloss to put over liquid lipsticks. They are, I, her whole collection just blew me away. So um, I recommend this for anybody who's looking for a new lip gloss. It was inexpensive, don't remember the exact number. We'll link it below and you can pick it up yourself from Sephora um, and online. The next product that I'm gonna show you guys is something that I picked up yesterday at Sephora and I'm so glad I picked this up. As a makeup artist, it is so easy to find good eyeshadows, but I was looking for like creamy eyeshadows for to use on clients and I picked up this Twinkle Pop Marc Jacobs Cream Eyeshadow Stick. This is in the shade Volver. Um, I will link it below. It was $35, um, or it was either 35, 37, or 38, between that range, um, and then plus tax. I believe I paid 44 total. Um, so this is a shade. I will swatch it on my hand for you guys to see. It's literally the most gorgeous, shimmery, color it's it literally feels wet i can't explain to you how like how amazing it is and i'm just so glad i picked that up they have different shades they have closer to like 
reds and bronze and browns and golds and silvers and just some shimmery shades and they're all amazing they're not expensive and i believe the stick is pretty big and it'll last you a long time so i'll actually use it in another video so you can see how it looks on and yeah so that's another item that i'm really glad i picked up the next item that i picked up i'm really not used to picking up items like this i don't really go to mac but i saw this on somebody and i was like I need to get this. So I originally walked into MAC to get the new Nicki Minaj lipsticks. I found them a little too peachy for myself. So instead, I got this MAC lipstick in Peach Blossom. It is a cream sheen lipstick. So this is the shade right there. So I'll show it to you guys on. So this is the lipstick on. I find it just like a nice pink peachy look and it's not too orange, not too pink. I really, really like this and I'm so glad I picked that up. MAC lipsticks are so inexpensive and so easy to use. I love them and I'm really glad I got this. The next beauty product that I picked up and I'm so glad I did is I'm really late on the bandwagon for this one. Everybody loves this product. Everybody uses this product, but I'm not sure why I've never tried it. So this is the deep, brow, the dip brow at Anastasia Beverly Hills Pomade de Soci in Ebony. So it looks like this. My shade is Ebony. It's not the darkest one. The darkest one is Granite but it is one of the darkest. I just use it to fill in some sparse areas and I'm really enjoying this and I think I'm gonna pick up some extra colors for clients and I'm glad I picked that up. I got it at Sephora. That's really where I pick up all my products and that's about it. The next product that I'm gonna show you guys is one of my holy grail products of the month. I am obsessed with this. It smells amazing. It is the Brazilian Bum Bum Cream. I know what you guys are thinking. If you don't know what this product is, you probably just think it's cream to put on your bum, but it is not. It is cream for your whole entire body. I use it on my legs, my stomach, anywhere, my arms, my hands. I do use it on my bum sometimes, but it is by Sol Janeiro. Um, it's a fast absorbing body cream. Um, it has an extract of granat grana extract um and it smells incredible i got the little size one of it because i wanted to try it before i ordered the big one it's kind of pricey so i got the smaller one it smells like oh, it smells so good um it's so good for your body it has kind of, but the only thing it, that i didn't know when i purchased it is that it does have little shimmer inside so my legs are kind of like shimmery once i use it um, I'm not mad about it, like I don't mind it at all, but it's just, I just rather know because I don't love that when I'm just kind of just wearing shorts and I'm like just lounging around. I don't know if I really want um, any kind of shimmer on me, but it is good because I put it on my chest and stuff. Like at my birthday, I put it on my chest and my dress was like low cut, so that looks really nice. So if you don't mind the shimmer, this is a great cream to have as a body cream and I would highly recommend it for anybody looking for a new um, cream it's kind of pricey but if you don't mind the price then 100% go pick that up now I'm gonna head in to clothes so this month if you follow me on Instagram you probably know that I'm very into the color red I love the color red it's my favorite color to wear and I picked up two items that I'm obsessed with I haven't really worn yet besides the sweater so I'm gonna show you guys these two products they have a pop of red on each of them uh, some, one of them has more red and some of them and the other one doesn't but these are my two favorite products that I picked up this month clothing wise the first one is a pair of pants from Zara and they look like this um, they are high-waisted and they have a red and white stripe on the side um, I am a size small at Zara so this is a size uh, uh, it's just a small it just says a small so they are kind of like leggings <coughs> they're kind of just like leggings if you like they're just kind of thicker um, I don't know how I'd wear this yet. I would kind of need to think about it. Maybe I'd wear it out with a red tube top. I could do that. Um, I'm not sure how I would, I would wear them yet, but I am so glad I picked that up. They were $35 plus tax, which is inexpensive. Uh, by the way, all pricing that I'm telling you is in Canadian dollar because I do live in Montreal. So that's the first item that I need to pick up. The second one is a sweater from Forever 21. I do own the matching sweats, but I just picked this up recently. It's a red sweater. Um, I posted this in one of my one of my Instagram pictures. Uh, I was wearing a tracksuit together. So it it is a suede red with white on the sides tracksuit. 
Um, it's my favorite sweater. It's not hot enough in Montreal yet to wear sweaters because it, there has been it has been an Indian summer and it's so hot. But yeah, this is one of my favorite favorite favorite. Uh, this is one of my favorite items that is in my closet at the moment. I can't wait to pair this with these sweats or with another pair of white sweats or black sweats in the or even just some leggings in the fall time. I love the color red and I'm so glad I got that. I got it from Forever 21. I'm not sure about pricing. I will find them and link them down below. Um, and you can always go pick that up. They have them in other colors. They have them in gray in navy and in black i have the black sweats which i'm wearing right now actually so yeah they have that too so you can pick up as many colors as you like and they're super comfortable and super affordable the next thing that is my favorite thing of this season and of the summer are chokers so i wear chokers uh for the longest time i've been wearing them you know that if you watch my videos from a few months ago um, so I love chokers. The choker that I'm wearing right now is my favorite of this month. It is just a gold choker with a star in the middle. Um, it was inexpensive. To believe it or not, this was $4. Um, I got it at Forever 21 in a pack of a bunch of chokers that were kind of all stuck together. And me and my boyfriend really wanted me just to wear this one. So what we did is we cut up all the chokers and we just left this one on it. Um, and I kind of just made this one myself. It's just a star choker I wear on my birthday with my black dress and I am obsessed with it. I paid $4 for the whole entire pack, cut it up, crafted it myself. I was all crafty with a bunch of scissors and tweezers and I made this one myself. Um, if I find other ones and you're really interested in buying them, I will make you one myself. Um, it is just gold plated and I'm obsessed with it and I love stars for this season and for the fall time stars are coming in bigger than ever and I hope to actually get new things. I want to get an earring with some stars so I guess stars are my favorite um, jewelry piece statement of September and I'm excited to get new, new purchases and new items with stars on it. I'm going to go straight into songs basically now. My favorite album of this new month of September is I think I have one like kind of album that stood out to me um despite um the actual person who released this album um, I'm not very fond of him there's been some going there's been some talk going around that he was involved with abuse to his girlfriend so I'm obviously not for that and it's not I don't like the person I just kind of like his music so um so it's for XX Tentacion. Um, I don't know if that's how you pronounce his name, but I was told that it was like that. But anyways, so Excess Temptation, whatever you guys want to call it. His album, 17. My, I'm super into music, I used to sing. And my favorite song on the album is Jocelyn Flores, and or whatever you pronounce that name. Um, so it's like a beautiful song. Um, it's very like, it, it's only, I think, a minute and a half. And it's just a very beautiful song. So um, I'm not going to play it because of copyright issues, but you can go check out his album. Um, I'll link down. I'll link it down below. Um, you can buy it on iTunes, and I'm really enjoying that, that album. There's three songs that I'm like super into. So it's that one, Everybody Dies in the Night in Their Night Times, in Their Nightmares. And then another another song is called it's called F Love, Feet Trippy Red. So the, that's the album that I'm really into this September. Um, other than that, there's nothing really that I'm into more than everything that I've mentioned in this short video. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'm going to be doing this monthly. If you have any questions about all the products that I wrote, if you have any questions about what I'm wearing or anything that you want to know, please don't forget to comment below. And if you have any suggestions for any upcoming videos, please remember to comment that as well. And remember to like and subscribe if you're not already doing that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. You're not